Hello, and welcome to another retro video game stream on Original Hardware. Tonight we're going to return to Gravatar on the 2600. Um, <clears throat> I'll just talk about this very briefly. I never played Gravatar in the arcade back in the game in the day. Um, it's a kind of hybrid of Asteroids and Lunar Lander, and it's actually a pretty cool game. I wish I would have seen it in the arcade. Um, my experience with with Gravatar is actually not the Gravatar game itself, but a game inspired by Gravatar called Oids uh, that was on the Atari ST. <clears throat> very, very similar to the same premise. Had different maps. You had to rescue um, little robots that was sort of like Defender or Choplifter, uh, if you will, and had very much the same kind of like physics mechanics and a little ship that had a shield and stuff. It's a great game. Uh, so when I discovered Gravatar, I, I heard about it um, as a really good you know, arcade port for the 2600 and started playing it. I was like, man, this is, this is like Oids. I love Oids. So in a way for me, it's like playing a game that came later <laughs> uh, on the 2600. It's a great port, um, really kind of a, I would say, capability and maybe a little bit of a hardware pusher for the 2600. Uh, you actually have some like objectives. You go around to different systems and a, and a, uh, or different yeah planets in a system, blowing up little bases. Uh, there's a reactor core you can go after and destroy. Um, it's very challenging. And the first mode, which is what we're going to play, is the hardest mode. Anyway, um, got my slick stick here. And, oh, and the primary goal of, uh, I think, tonight is trying to break one of the high scores that's recorded for this on Twin Galaxies. Um, the last session we played, I scored, I think, 21,000 points, which would actually place me in the top five on Twin Galaxies leaderboards from mode one on Gravatar. I think we can do better than that. I think we can beat the second best score on there. Second best score is 28,000. I think we can beat that. Um, it's, it's tough. You only get five ships on mode one. But I think if you go after the reactor, maybe on repeat after the first system you might be able to get that score pretty easily. I'm not sure. Supposedly in the rules, there are four solar systems between each galaxy. So I'm not sure what happens if you beat four in a row. But I guess we'll find out if we ever get that far. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with Gravatar. There's a killer sun in here too. There's the enemy ships that come out of the reactor. And you do have a shield, but it only works against enemy fire. In Oids, it actually gives you a shield. It gives you a, uh, a shield against anything that you'd fly into. So you can actually use it to kind of like ricochet off the ground, which is much more forgiving than Gravatar. And then you can pick up fuel, sort of like Lunar Lander. I think that's how Lunar Lander works. Which are these little boxes. Now, I thought about this. In theory, I guess you could just keep shooting the enemy ships in outer space for a high score. I wonder if... Maybe you don't get any points for those. Well, not a very auspicious beginning to our high score run. You do get points for kill yeah, you get 100 points for killing those ships. So, I mean, if you had unlimited time, I guess in theory, you could get a high score just killing those ships in outer space over and over and over and over again. Which seems kind of lame. When we tried to play the uh well, you do get you get points for killing those things. Maybe you only get it once. Let's see. You get a hundred points after you kill the first one? 
you get 100 points. So yeah, I mean, I guess you could keep killing those things. Might as well get this fuel here. So the thing that makes this game particularly hard is managing the gravity of the various systems. Killing the bases isn't necessarily too bad. As you can see, I'm getting kind of pulled around just by the, the system. Although I feel like you can use it to your advantage a little bit if you know what you're doing. So we got to kill one more planetary base here. And those ships that are flying around can only ram you, which is kind of nice. And voids on the ST, um, they could shoot you too. But I think they'd be asking a little bit much of the 2600. This game's already really kind of amazing on the 2600. I guess you could keep killing those things. I'm not going to do that, though. All right, the last time we did this, we went straight for the reactor and blew it up. And that's how we got to the next stage, because these other stages are pretty hard. <laughs> I'm used to oids where I can rebound off stuff. All right, you got to do this pretty fast. You get 50 seconds to lose all my ships. And I think you, it's best to just shoot it from up here. Alright. Thousand, the killer son. I'm gonna try to take out one of these systems. Let's see how this one looks. You can always leave. Now, see, this is pretty doable. Oof. I think it's worth doing this one. out of here without getting killed. Take this thing with me. On the way out. Alright, 21,000. Alright. 
Well, we already broke our old high score. Do I dare try to get down into this thing? Can I leave? No. Once you start a planet, you, can, you have to finish it. Okay. Well, that's going to make me want to try to kill the reactor. game is really tough. 22,350. That is definitely high on the leaderboard on Twin Galaxies, but we got to beat 28,000 to get second place on the leaderboard. So I think we can do this. That was only my first try. I don't know how important it is to collect the fuel. I felt like it hasn't been super, like, important, but once you get, like, a couple, it seems like that's probably enough. That was really dumb. Unnecessary.
Let's go straight for the reactor. Reactor again. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Well, you only get forty seconds. Jeez. Okay. Looks like this is like a repeat. Hope it is. It is! That's awesome. These are way easier. Okay. We can do this. The gravity seems more intense. what you need the fuel for. Jeez. Maybe I shouldn't even mess with that. thousand that's pretty doable get down there. Gravity here is miserable.
Do I do get this fuel? I'm at 28,000 right now. Okay. 29,000. I think that's the new second place record. Let's see how high we can go. not to get Go for the reactor or try to kill a system? Let's try the reactor at least once. I suspect it's going to be really difficult, but might as well try. I can even get in it. 30 seconds. It's doable. Let's just try a system, I guess. Here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. I think we found I think we found our end. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Last ship. We get one more. 36,450. I think that's good enough for second place <laughs> on Twin Galaxies. Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to stop for now because even though I think we might be able to try to blow up the reactor on that system, I'm just going to I'm just going to take a break. <laughs> And maybe come back to this. I'm going to record my score and see if I can get placed on the leaderboard for Gravatar. That'd be great. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And um, I know it's a little bit of a shorter stream tonight. But uh, we'll be back next week with some more retro video games on original hardware. And maybe I'll have a picture of me on Twin Galaxies leaderboard for Gravatar. All right.